Hey everybody, this is Kyle Bennett with HardOCP.com and today we are going to be looking at NVIDIA's VR Funhouse that uh, will soon be available on Steam. It uses NVIDIA GameWorks technologies like Flex, Flow, Hairworks, Physics, all that good stuff. And uh, what we're showing to you right now is the menu setup. You come into this room and you are faced with the uh, instructions there that tell you how to actually move around the levels a little bit and how to use the controllers. Not much to it. And you're in the middle of a in the middle of a field or a carnival set up. Um, you can see the sign there behind the table. It shows you, hey, for low settings, GTX 1060, medium settings, a 1080, and for high settings, a uh, 1080 times two. And you got your little fire there that it, uh, shows you according to settings, gets a little bigger, a little more fluid in it. And you got a health meter over there that shows you uh, your strong man kind of in the green. You can see our curtains open up here and see the, uh, the cloth kind of uh, work as you might think it would. You've got a table full of uh, baseballs and soccer balls, a couple of bats and a hammer. And uh, the idea is you start kind of using these things and understand and the, see how the VR kind of works. And it's really, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty compelling because you got objects interacting with other objects and the, you know, the way the, the flow and everything is, it's, it's very, very engrossing. The hammer is uh, obviously one of everybody's favorites. Of course, you can't really hit anything over there with the hammer unless you chuck it across there. So, And now you will get to see my ultimate skills with my uh, baseball. And uh, I nicked it the first time, and, uh, you know, what can I say? There's a reason I'm not a professional sports player. Anyway, so we're going to morph over to the next game, which is uh, Clown Painter, which you've probably all seen these at... Uh, at the carnival, where you shoot the uh, liquid into the clown's mouth, the balloon fills up, bursts, and showers him with the uh, the green goo there. And you can play around with this, and the fluids react pretty much like you think they might in the real world. And uh, it's not really a water, but more like a kind of a glue kind of thing. You paint the signs with it, it sticks to it, and uh, it's, it's okay. It's a time game too. There you go, my high score of three. Morphing over to the next game, this is my favorite. So this is Fire Arrow. Obviously you're given a bow and a quiver full of arrows and you draw your bow and light them on fire. Check that out. Look at the firework, that's just amazing. This is, uh, this is one of the most uh, intensive, uh, resource intensive uh, games on here as well. And once you, get a, once you get a few fires going, you can, uh, you can see how they all interact as the signs move differently, and it's, it's, it's pretty compelling, too. You see the fire actually catches the signs on fire, and they'll char black and burn out as well. But that's my favorite on here. Well, maybe not. This one's pretty interesting. You're given a couple swords, and uh, the uh, sides of the swords are not sharp. So these are balloons that are blowing up around you full with confetti. So you can you can manually manipulate the balloons, and as long as you don't touch them with the tip of the sword, they'll uh, they'll stay uh, they'll stay solid. Obviously, you can see the fluid motion that you can use. You can interact with the confetti, as you as you know it might happen in the real world. And it's just uh, as far as particle physics goes, it's just really really cool to get here and mess around. I actually wish the confetti hung in the air a little bit longer, but. Uh, it's a fun one too. I think my high score or the family's high score is 210 or something like that. This one's probably the least impressive um, in the whole thing, but it kind of goes off to, you know, the whole thing shows obviously graphics fidelity. And of all the VR stuff we've been using, this one is, is, is absolutely the most, um, it's hard to say photorealistic, but it, but it generally, yeah, it's probably more photorealistic than anything else. We get to see, um, more physics in action here, and uh, so you get these little Twinkie guys that come down, I guess minions, or I guess they kind of look like Twinkies. And obviously we're seeing hairworks uh, in action here. And once you get tired of them being down there, you can take your boxing glove and you can pop them in the face and knock them back. So it's another timed event you go through. It's pretty fun. Um, the first time you play, you'll generally work up sweat, definitely. <laughs> and uh, just getting to watch how they, they spring around is pretty pretty interesting. Morphing over to uh, this next one. Finally, we get somewhere. We got a couple of six shooters. 
and uh, a bunch of ceramic plates and pottery and all kinds of good stuff sitting up here. And uh, this will teach you teach you just how good a shot you are very quickly. And uh, another thing that these uh, that uh, they're putting in here, these have in our destructible environments. So I'm going to clear off the bottom shelf here, and you can actually see I'm going to shoot a hole through the wood backing and remove that so we can see through. Now we, we still have two plates on the spindle left and you can actually interact with the plates through there as well. So that's pretty cool. Morphing over to, uh, this is uh, what, Cannon, uh, what, Cannon Ski. And uh, just like the white sound, the yeah, cannon starts shooting things at us. And you see them hit the ground and you think they break as they might in the real world. And uh, you can catch them with your head too, which is the first time it happens to you, it'll, it'll kind of scare you. And then obviously the uh, the point of the game is to shoot the targets out of the air and get scored. I think my high score on this one is 42. So um, as you uh, as you go through, the cannon will speed up at some point, and uh, it's pretty fun. Pretty fun stuff. So as far as uh, VR demonstrations go, this one took uh, quite a bit of horsepower. We're using GTX uh, 1080 SLI. And uh, it was, it gave us a great experience. We didn't know, we never lost any frames and we'll show you a graph about that. And then this final scene, you can uh, bring up um, the, uh, a little movie here, a run with all the, all the creators and producers names on this and give you a, uh, you get a congratulations there. Here's your high score, what you do every time. Uh, there's two games missing, uh, an octopus game and a uh, basketball game. But thanks for watching. This is Kyle Bennett with Heart OCP and we'll uh, see you next time.